Ever thought how nice it would be to catch multiple versions of these version exclusives in your copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield? You already caught Reggie Drago and you can't actually now catch Reggie Alecki and you want Spectria but you've already caught Glastria and it, the list goes on and on. Well today friends don't worry about it because I've got all the steps needed for you to get an unlimited number of the version exclusives in your copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hello friends and welcome back to today's episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And like I've just mentioned, I'm going to show you all the steps in today's guide with how you can get an unlimited number of version exclusive Pokemon in your one copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield. So I did cover this previously with a Cub Fu guide showing you how you could get multiple versions of Cub Fu when the Isle of Armor came out. But obviously now with the Crown Tundra, we've got a bunch of new Pokemon that we still can't get access to in just one game. When you pick Red Reggie Alecki or Reggie Drago, you can't actually get the other one in your one copy of the game. The same goes for Glastria or Spectria. Uh, the Glarian Birds, if you've already caught them as well and you want maybe different versions of them, the same goes for the Reggies. If you found it out after you've caught them that you can actually shiny hunt these, you've missed your opportunity to do that because there's only one of those in the game. And this goes for all of the legendaries as well with the Dynamax Adventures only allowing you to catch one legendary per game. If you've already caught a legendary and you were planning on shiny shiny hunting these as well because shiny hunting in Dynamax Adventures is so easy you're now unable to do that if you've only got one copy but this method is very simple it's very straightforward it's not too taxing and it will allow you to get multiple copies of these Pokemon that are version exclusive you're only going to get one of these in your game and you'll be able to do this over and over and over again until your heart is content. So how do we do this? Okay, well, we're sitting here now. You need to be on your menu screen of your Switch. And this, I will just reiterate, does not mean you have to buy another game. Does not mean you need to buy another DLC pack. If you've got a copy of the game and you've got a copy of the DLC pack, you are fine. You can use this method over and over and over again until your heart is content. Like I say, you can use this, so it's not gonna cost you anything more. If you've got a copy of the game in the DLC pack, you are good to go. Okay, so when you're on the, the menu screen here, you wanna come down to system settings. This is the first step. You wanna come down to users, which is here and you want to go to add user okay so you want to create a new user you choose an icon any icon will do we'll go for big old bowser and this one and then you want to just give this new account a name well i haven't got an account with my actual name on it so we will go with that we'll go with lee for this one how boring <laughs> okay now this is the important step, okay? You've put your username in, you'll come to this screen. You can now link a Nintendo account to your user. Do not do this, okay? Because this can mess things up. You wanna just say, I'll do this later, okay? Right, now the account is added. So you are all set, it is that easy. All you need to do now is come over to your copy of Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield and click onto it and then instead of going on your main account, which would be the one that you've already been playing on, which is in this case is my Osiris VGC, you click on your new user account, which is just Lee, which is on and whatever it is in your case, and it will start the game up like you are starting it for the very first time. And you will have the Crown Pass and you will have the Isle of Armor Pass. They'll all be there in the game. All you need to do is get to the wild area and then you can get to these areas but if you wanted to play through the game again in sword and shield and get another cup of zamazenta or zassian then you can do that as well you're going to have access to everything in the game over again that you had in the original games meaning you can get multiple copies of any pokemon and this is really good like i say for the dynamax adventures especially because you're going to be able to shiny hunt these and if you somehow m messed up and caught a bunch of them already and you didn't shiny hunt them and then decided i really want to shiny hunt these but actually i've only i'm only able to get one copy of these in my game 
how am I going to do this? Then this is the answer for you. You start a new game and unlike having to play through the whole of Sword and Shield, what you can do is just get to the early stages of the game where you can get to Wedgehurst Station and then you can travel to these areas. So like I mentioned, I'm going to play through this game so we know the exact point you need to get to to actually access the Crown Tundra. It is the newest DLC version. So we're doing that. We're playing through the game as we would from the start on a brand new account, new save file that we've just set up and I've showed you how to do and I'm just going to show you I'm just jumping in here because I want to show you a few things just to speed this up and I will time how long this actually does take me but the first thing you want to do once you've got your bag is obviously set your text to fast fast then turn battle effects off battle style you can switch uh, center boxes automatic uh, give nicknames don't um, and then that should auto saves off and that should be all the, the settings that you'll need to do just to speed things up a little bit for yourself. As I say, I'm going to time this now until the point where I can get access to the Crown Tundra. So we'll be back when I get through these early stages of the game. Okay, so here we are. I'm literally about, I'm just under 30 minutes actually, like 29 minutes to be exact. I'm 30 minutes into the game. It's taken me to get here. So it doesn't take you long to get to this part of the game at all. This is where you're going to need to get to though to access the Isle of Armour and then the Crown Tundra. You will need to get to the wild area uh, so you can then go back to Wedgehurst on the train and then travel to these areas. You'll also need the Dynamax band as well. There is literally, it's just a lot of formalities in the early parts of the game. So once you've spoken to Sonya here, you're going to be able to go back to Wedgehurst like I'm about to show you and then all your passes will activate. So once we get to, to, to Wedgehurst uh, again, it will now activate the train to the Isle of Armour. So this is the cutscene that we would have seen uh, when this released. And then the slowpoke comes in. The only thing is you need to catch this slowpoke. Uh, so you will need to catch this before you can move on. So it may be a little tricky. Uh, one of the more tricky parts of this, depending on uh, what you've been doing. Literally, there's two NPC characters that you need to battle on your way to um, the, the wild area. So I haven't really been doing any wild Pokemon. I've literally just been mashing A, running through this as quick as I can. And just so you know as well, when you go into the Isle of Armour and Crown Tundra at this early stage of the game, you may be worrying about the level of the Pokemon that you go in against when you arrive in these new areas. Well, everything is scaled depending on the gym badges that you have acquired already in your game. So you're gonna go in with something like Skull Bunny, all the levels of every Pokemon in the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armour are going to be scaled to those levels or at least to the slow poke here. So once you've done that, all you need to do is talk to this gentleman here. Oh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armour. Uh, you have a crown pass too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Where would you like to go today? So today we will go to the Crown Tundra. And like I say, when you enter the Crown Tundra for the first time with the Pokemon that you've got in your party, it will scale the levels to the gym badges that you've got and because we've got no gym badges we're going to be bottoming out the the level scale in the crown tundra same goes for the isle of armor as well we'll be going in so none of the pokemon are going to be super high levels except for peony who will still have like level 70 couple Raj or something like that his levels are the only ones that don't scale so if you go into it don't be too scared you don't need to win that battle to progress it's just a, a kind of a formality and him introducing himself into the game so as you can see we are now now in the crown tundra and it takes 30 minutes to get here literally 30 minutes of your time to access the crown tundra again to allow you the chance to catch all of these new pokemon and now i'm going to show you a little trick with what you do once you've caught the pokemon in your new copy of the game so you're able to then transfer them over to maybe a main copy and keep this one as a separate one where you can just kind of farm these pokemon as and when you want you're not using it as your main copy what we can do now we are in the crown tundra we just save our game here and what we'll do is I will show you how you can then access and maybe make this a little easier for yourself. So you want to come into Pokemon Home. You want to go into it on your main account. OK, when you're accessing Pokemon Home all the time, always go into it on your main account. Right. And then you can change it when you're in Pokemon Home to access your other other games and other user IDs. So when you're on your main Pokemon Home screen, remember that you've logged in on your main user account that was originally linked to this Pokemon Home. You want to click on the Pokemon 
button here and then when this screen which is showing your user account and the, the games that are linked with it under that user you want to go up to the user menu on the top which we have selected now you want to click on it and it says do you want to check a different user save data you say yes and then you want to come down and click and select your new user that you've just set up um, and played through as you can see this is our new game lee 36 minutes we've played you want to click into it now one of the things that i would say i've already mentioned the level scaling when you go to somewhere like the crown tundra of the isle of armor at the moment we've got like a level 10 score bunny so that's not really going to be much use to us but because we've not got the gym badges we need to be quite mindful of the pokemon that we're bringing across now you've got two options here you can bring over some level 100s or higher level pokemon that are going to be a bit risky because they're a lot of the time they're not going to obey you or you can bring some pokemon that are kind of be between like 15 to 25 if you've got those sort of pokemon and pad your team out that way and that should be enough to see you through uh, the majority of the game to allow you to get to the point where you can catch these new exclusive pokemon and then trade them over to your main account so as you can see here i'm just picking a bunch of pokemon like i've got some higher level ones but the majority of them are in the low to mid 20s so that should do us fine save the game now and um, what you do as well once you've caught the pokemon in your new save file you can just do the same thing where you come into pokemon on your main account change this to your user and if you want to go back to your once you've deposited the pokemon from your new user account into pokemon home you just click on your user details change up here and then go to your main account and then transfer them back across to your main account if that is what you want to do i hope you found this guide useful friends if you have please do drop a like on the video if you have found it useful and helpful and um, do hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this sort of content and you want to see more content like this in the future and also let me know down in the comment section if you found this useful and this has been helpful for you to obtain maybe multiple copies of different pokemon that are only exclusively available as a one-off in most games or if you've been able to just get those vision exclusives that you were locked out of by choosing the alternative option thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye